Hi, I'm Ellie and welcome back to Arcadia, my self-converted Toyota Highs, which I'm currently traveling Australia's east coast in. But today I'm going to be doing my version of the things I love about my van build video. Now I absolutely love my van conversion, it really works for me and I would definitely recommend you do a self-conversion, especially if you are traveling full-time because you really need the space to be customized to suit your needs and you really need to think about what is actually going to be like for you living in it. So having said that, there are eight things that stand out above the others that I would definitely recommend you consider putting in your van build. I'm Ellie Wilder and you're watching Wilder in Motion. In no particular order, let's get into the things that I love about my van and the first one is the van itself. It is a 2007 Toyota Heist super long wheelbase and the big advantage with this model is it's got a very short nose which means that the overall vehicle length actually fits in a standard parking spot. It's under six meters. However, the cargo space is huge. It's a full 3.4 meters which is about 90 centimeters than you would get in the equivalent Mercedes Sprinters or Ford Transit models. So I'm really, really glad I went with this because having that extra 90 centimeters makes all the difference. It means that I can fit a queen size bed going long ways through the van, a full wardrobe, big kitchen area, a big fridge, and I still have plenty of room to move around. And even with the well-known saying, you don't live in the van, you sleep in the van. If you are traveling full-time, then there are going to be times where you're living in the van, whether it's because of weather or you're just really exhausted and you want a rest day. And regardless, you're probably going to be spending at least 12 hours a day in the van. So you do want to make sure that it works for you and you find it comfortable. So having that bit of extra space makes all the difference. The second thing is right behind me here, my fold down bench top. I think it's about 110 centimeters long and the full 60 centimeter depth, which means regardless of whether I'm using it as a workspace, a desk, a kitchen bench top, or a vanity, I never have to rearrange things. Everything just fits so nicely on top, but I haven't sacrificed any space because I can just easily fold it away when I'm not using it. I consider this an absolute essential. It is the worst first thing when you don't have enough bench space and it will just be so frustrating. So something like this doesn't take up any extra space but gives you instantly so much more room to spread out. The next thing is a product which I installed and it's not really a surprise that it is the Max Fan. Very popular amongst YouTube van conversions and for good reason. The rain dome is great because I can leave the van for the day and leave open without having to worry about the weather. Same goes for leaving it open overnight. It's like having a window that I can have open all the time but not worry about the security risk like I might if it was a window on the side of the van. And of course it has the fan itself in there which can circulate air in and out which I find very essential around the time when I'm having breakfast and the sun's a little bit higher and it's hitting the van a bit hotter and I really need to get some airflow through so it's great for that. Another product which I really love is my pull down tap. It's really great having the different spray settings for the water and also being able to pull down and point the water where I actually need it, especially when I'm trying to save water. These functions help me out so, so much. The tap is also positioned so that it can turn into a shower as well, which I don't use as much, but the pull down is also handy for that too. Plus it adds a bit of luxury to the van and whenever people come in, they always compliment the tap. Tap. So I definitely think it's something that makes it feel a bit more bougie in here. Now onto layout, something that I consider absolutely essential is being able to easily get from the front cab area into the rear cargo living area. I do this multiple times a day, every single day. I just climb over the middle seat and it's really easy for me to just pop into the driver's seat and off I go without even having to exit the van. So I do this every day when I pull up for the night, I can just climb over and set everything up without even leaving the vehicle and likewise in the morning when everything's packed away, I can drive off just by climbing straight into the driver's seat. The next thing that I absolutely love is a little bit of an unusual one and it's actually my bench seats that fold into a queen size bed. 
Now, some people don't like the inconvenience of having to pack things away and get them out every single day. However, for me, it is a small price to pay for having a huge queen size bed, which I wouldn't be able to have if it were fixed. Also, all the storage underneath and now this spacious walkway, which just helps the van feel so, so much bigger than if it was a fixed bed. The next thing that I love is having a full dedicated wardrobe space. Now lots of people try to squeeze in storage in every little nook and cranny which is great for extra storage but I think it's really important to have one big storage space which is accessible for all of your most used items. So I have most of my clothing in here as well as my pantry items and this just makes sure everything's in one place and it's really easy to get to and then I also have a little office area within it as well. And within the wardrobe I have these large drawers which keep everything really organized, super accessible and they fit so much inside. And the final thing I want to talk about is another storage area and that is this long skinny cabinet next to my bed. It runs the full 2 meter length of the bed and it is really good for those awkward sized items as well as just keeping things out of the way from the main van area and having them very accessible because it is open at the top. So at the moment I've got my folding table in here, a folding chair, a beach umbrella, a rain umbrella, I'm also keeping my pajamas, I keep my window block outs in here during the day and I've got my recycling and some bags in there as well so it fits so much stuff and it seems like it's a pretty small space but actually it fits heaps in there particularly those awkward items that otherwise wouldn't have somewhere to go. So that's eight things that I love about my van. If you have a van, then tell me below what your favorite things about it are. And if you wanna see my van in more detail, then check out my van tour linked below. I upload new van life content every single Saturday. So if you wanna join the trip, then be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.